What's going on? How's your day treating you? Oh, can't complain, except for the fact that I'm in jail. Another video, another burger of the day, coming your way from the Bob's Burgers Burger Book. The Never Been Fed a Burger from Season 1, Episode 2, titled Crawl Space. A fantastic episode overall, accompanied by a really simple, cheesy burger of the day. This is actually the second burger I've cooked today, but I figure this video will come out on a different day. Thankfully, it's going to be a simple burger. Some feta cheese, arugula, sriracha, yellow mustard, mayo, and then bun, salt, pepper, Patty. The simplicity is welcome. The last couple of videos have been pretty complex. So, you know, let's get started. Let's craft a delicious burger that will make Bob Belcher proud. Let's go. Or we could help an outlaw biker sell his motorcycle. We could, Louise, but I know what the people want. They want to watch me cook up a whimsical burger just before lunch so that they get that extra level of dopamine before diving in. So as you can see, I am prepping this meat with feta cheese and salt and pepper. How do you guys feel about this combination? This family is falling apart. We're all just strangers under the same roof. I was hoping for an opinion on the patty, but fair. So that pretty much does it for the patty prep. We can move on to actually cooking it up. Let's brace for a good time. Time to go hog wild. Uh, time to go. Okay, time to go. Okay, time to uh, hog. Time to go. Let's try that again. Ready? Time to go hog out. Oh yeah, sizzle baby sizzle. With the feta stuffed inside, it should allow for the patty to get a really nice sear when we flip, which I typically only like to do once, which kind of negates the manic energy that the last Bobby B's clip was putting out. Maybe it's just not time to go hog wild. Yeah, maybe we revert to the chill cooking vibes that we have come to expect from this channel. It's looking really good, and I can tell by the marbling in this meat that this one is going to be special, at least in regard to the patty. All right, so now it's time to give it a good flip, and then we can see if we know what we're talking about. Yeah, that's looking exquisite. But maybe we should abandon it though. Maybe it was just too easy. I sincerely hope you didn't say what I think you just said. Just messing, and there's always room to improve anyways. Maybe the next patty I cook will achieve sentience, or come close. The patty cooking process is coming to an end after about five minutes or so, and I'm really happy with the way it's turning out. Like I said earlier, it's a simple burger, and I could have filled this episode with a lot of filler, but I decided that I value your time, and I didn't want to do that. With the patty on the way out, you know what comes next. Hey, should we just forget this whole thing and take it out on the squash court? No, we need to toast up these buns before doing anything else. I like to use the pan covered in fat to help crisp them up and absorb that fatty flavor. It should only take about a minute, maybe even less. Everything's pretty much done, except for I'm gonna mix this mayonnaise and this mustard, and then we'll build this burger. Come on, we never do fun activities together. How dare you not think mixing condiments together is thrilling. All right, it might not be, but it's going to end up a delicious final sauce that is super easy to whip together. Don't forget the ketchup, and I'm going to throw in some ground cayenne pepper for some kick. I'm getting really excited and hungry. I hope I'm not the only one. Uh-uh. We started this together. We're ending it together. Everything is prepped, so let's build this burger, starting with the bottom bun, followed by some arugula, then our juicy patty, get a nice layer of our sauce down, sprinkle on some additional feta, and then complete with the top bun. What a great looking burger to be proud of. Well, well, well. Look what we have here. The burger's done. It looks beautiful. Like a naughty unicyclist. I say that every time, but it does. It looks beautiful. Super excited to take a look at bite and tell how it tastes. I can, I can see that it has the textures. It has the flavors. It's gonna be a simple, earthy, delicious burger. Is it gonna be special? I don't know. I mean, it's pretty simple, like I said, but sometimes simple's better. So let me take a bite and I'll tell you how it tastes. Bon appetit. I would, I would describe it as a McDonald's burger with the addition of feta. That's basically the flavor profile. Very simple, very effective. The saltiness from the burger and the feta combined with the sweet, fluffy, buttery flavor from the buns, and then you just throw in that classic sauce flavor. Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's just really good. So what would I rate it? An eight out of 10, very solid, even if it wasn't spectacular. Not every burger has to be at the end of the day. Sometimes you just want an easy recipe that's a little bit elevated from the norm, which is what we have here. It probably would have benefited from a sweet onion and tomato slice. Those are easy to add, and let's be honest, they would probably make any burger better as long as you don't dislike tomato, which a surprising amount of people do. 
I think the best part of this burger ended up being how good the feta was inside the patty. Every bite was cheesy and salty, but not too much. So with that said, thanks for watching friends, remember to live in the moment, and I will see you next video. Well, we gotta go. Uh, we gotta meet the snakes back at headquarters. We got a nursing student coming by to teach a infant CPR class to the club. She's also gonna sell us a bunch of Oxycontin. Thanks for feasting with me today, and please subscribe if you liked what you saw.